Hello, Aslan class. Welcome to your fourth math video this week. Today's date is the 4th of March, 2021. Uh, so this week is all about investigations. Uh, you don't have to put any of the work up onto tapestry. You can just do the work in your own leisure and uh, see what you come out with. So yesterday you did an investigation about grouping. Uh, today is all about symmetry. So let's, but for, before we uh, do that, we need to obviously, um, we obviously need to do our uh, arithmetic. So uh, I'm going to share the screen. So let's have a look at today's arithmetic questions. So pause the video and uh, complete the arithmetic questions, and then we'll go through the answers together. Okay, hopefully you've done all of that now and the video is unpaused and we can go through the answers. So for question number one, four times nine is equal to 54, five, four. Question two, what is a sixth of 24? So we did this last week, finding a unit fraction of an amount. Because our denominator is six, that tells us we are splitting 24 into six equal parts. And how many would we have in one of those parts? The answer would be four. 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4. That's what you're doing. Uh, what is 555 as a Roman numeral? D for 500, L for 50, and V for 5. D, L, V. Question number uh, 4, 5 sevenths plus 6 sevenths. So we're doing 5 plus 6, which is equal to 11 over 7. Or if you want to write that as a mixed number, that is one whole and four over seven uh, remaining. Uh, question five, four times seven is 35. You then have 64 divided by eight, which is also eight. Uh, four times seven, sorry, is 28. Uh, if I misread that one. What is five kilometers in meters? There are four. 1,000 meters per kilometer. So 1,000 multiplied by five gives you 5,000. Uh, 4,823 plus 5,135 will give you 9,958. So 9,958. And then the subtraction question, 9,875 take away 5,432 is equal to 4,443. And then 56 divided by seven is of course eight. So well done if you got all them questions correct. Let's move on to today's investigation. It's called coloring triangles. You will need to go onto Teams and you will need to, um, you will need to go to the resources page and print out Thursday's maths lesson. It's a PDF file, just print it out. If you don't have that, there is a link in the description below this video that you can then use to do an interactive one. Um, so let's have a look at these triangles. What do you notice? What is the same? What's the different about two pictures? <clears throat> so have a think about it. And uh, hopefully you should see that this triangle uh, on this side over here, uh, can I use a line? Yes. This triangle here, if we were to draw a line down the middle, the colours on this side are exactly the same on this side, aren't they? So this has got a line of symmetry going down the middle. Uh, this one, uh, the same, we, we've, you know, we've got uh, three red triangles coloured in, two of them are yellow, only one of them is blue. Uh, but if we put our line of symmetry down here, uh, is this side the same as this side? No, it's not. So there are some similarities and there are some differences. Now, what you're going to do is explore ways of colouring the black and white outline of the triangles. And what I would like you to do is can you make some metrical patterns? So can you make it? So if you were to draw a line down the middle, would the triangles on this side be the same as this side? Are there any other lines of symmetry that you could do? Would it work if you did it that way? Or would it work if you did it that way? Okay, uh, no, there's lots of lines there, but use the printout sheets to help you. If not, go, <laughs> go onto the link, uh, 
which is here on the screen here. It should be in the description in the video below. Uh, and you can use the interactive tool when you scroll down. Okay, so you're coloring in these triangles in different colors. Can you do it with two colors, three? Does it work with more than three colors? Can you make lines of symmetry? Um, so uh, off you go, do that task, and then come back to this video once you've completed it so you can see whether any of yours are correct or whether you've got some that I haven't got here. So the solutions are coming up in five, four, three, two, and one. Here they are, okay? So two colors here. We've got our line of symmetry going straight down the middle. Uh, here we've got three different colors. And again, we've got a line of symmetry going down the middle here. And again, now this one doesn't quite work that way because the greens are different shades of green, aren't they? So we can't uh, have that as a line of symmetry, but we do have a line of symmetry uh, going down the bottom. Uh, for this triangle here, again, we can't have one going down the middle here or here, but we do have a line of symmetry going here, and we do have a line of symmetry going down this way as well. So how many different triangles could you find? Uh, you can put your work up on the tapestry if you want, uh, but yeah, just a nice little activity for you to do today. All right then, guys, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.